good morning here uh, this is the next topic uh, from the chapter of viscous flow in the previous class just uh, that video was recorded yesterday uh, there you have got shear stress distribution and the velocity distribution across a section of a circular pipe and uh, the velocity distribution was what u is equal to minus 1 by 4 mu del p del x into capital R square minus small r square. So this was the velocity distribution you have got uh, for a circular pipe, uh, for a cross section of a circular pipe means uh, what I want to say is that, uh, say this is the pipe, okay, and this is the center line of the pipe. So, say you are taking this cross section, okay, then you will get such velocity distribution which is parabolic. Since this is an equation of a parabola, okay, here mu, del p, del x, capital R, all are constants, only one variable is there, that is small r. Okay, so uh, we have got this velocity distribution and you know that at the center line the velocity will be maximum and that maximum velocity is obtained by putting small r is equal to 0. Okay, so what is the maximum velocity? You put just small r is equal to 0, so the result is 1 by 4 mu del p del x into capital R square. So this is the maximum velocity. Now here the topic is what? Ratio of maximum velocity to average velocity. So this is known to us. Maximum velocity. Now what, what we need to do is that we have to get an expression for average velocity. So how you will get the average velocity? So, uh, fluid is flowing this, uh, in this direction, fluid is flowing in this direction, so uh, discharge, that means volume flow rate, okay, volume flow rate through the pipe divided by the cross-sectional area, volume flow rate through the pipe divided by the cross-sectional area will give you average velocity, okay, say Q is the discharge. See, Q is the discharge, right? So, what will be the unit? If you use SI unit, then unit will be meter cube per second. Dog, uh, dog is passing outside. That uh, noise is coming here. Okay. Still, there will be no problem, I think. Q is equal to discharge, unit of which is meter cube per second, and say the area is, uh, say it is capital A. A is what? Area. Means cross sectional area of the pipe. Therefore, what is the average velocity? U bar. Okay. We are using bar to denote average velocity. So U bar is equal to what? This Q discharge divided by the area A. Okay. And uh, here radius of the pipe, radius of the pipe is given to be R. Then this area A is equal to what? Area A is equal to will be pi r square. So our first task is to calculate this Q. What, we, what is the Q? Since we know that velocity is not constant around the radius. Velocity is not a constant. So to do that thing, you take one. This type of element. This is the center. Okay. This is the center. This is the inner circle. This is the outer circle. And say fluid is flowing through this angular space. Means we have taken one elemental ring. Okay. We have taken one elemental ring. And here the inner, this inner radius, this is R. And the thickness, this thickness this is what? This is dr. Okay, so we have taken this type of uh, element. Okay, this type of element we have taken. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, this one is capi not capital R. This is a small R. Capital R is the radius of the pipe. This is smaller. Okay. So here you can see that the thickness is dear. In a radius is R. And this is one elemental ring. And through that elemental ring, fluid is flowing. Okay. You can see the side view of this pipe. So side view, in side view we will get circles. So now suppose through this elemental ring the velocity of the fluid is u. So u is the velocity of fluid. Then what will be the discharge through that elemental ring? That velocity u multiplied by the area. What is the area of this elemental ring? It is nothing but 2 pi r dr. So u multiplied by this is multiplication sign, okay? u multiplied by 2 pi r dr. This 2 pi r dr, this is the elemental area, okay? So this is the discharge through the elemental ring. So this discharge can be denoted by dq, right? Is everything visible or not? Yeah, everything is clearly visible. There is no problem. So, uh, so what? Now, to get the total discharge, we have to do one thing and that is uh, known to you. What is the way? Just to integrate this expression. So, we are integrating this. So, what is there? 2 pi r, uh, 2 pi u r dr. Write this way. Same expression I have written this way. Okay. And here r varies from where to where? r varies from at the center it is 0 and here it is capital R. So R varies from 0 up to capital R. Right? Now 2 and pi these are constants but U is not a constant it is a function of R. Okay? So now uh, I am erasing the unnecessary part here. Okay? Size of the body is so small. So I need to erase some part of this then only I can show you the remaining part okay quality of my video is uh, means uh, video quality okay this one is not so good I am using uh, I am using my mobile phone to record all this video so again after uh, recording the video I need to compress due to the shortage of internet data okay I need to compress the size of the file and that way the quality of the video uh, <coughs> goes down okay so so what so here you integrate okay I'm writing here q is equal to uh, q is equal to what 2 pi Integration sign R is equal to 0, R is equal to capital R, and uh, this small r is there, write that small r, and expression for U is uh, what? Minus 1 by 4 mu, 4 mu del P del X into uh, this, give this bracket R square minus R square, okay? And of course, this dr is there. Here, del p del x for a given cross section is constant. That is known to you, and this is also constant. So, so, so what? These two four so minus 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 pi and divided by two mu, right? Uh, two mu, right? And then del p del x is there. Then this integration sign. Uh, 0 to r okay uh, 0 to r and uh, this r multiplied by r square gives you r square r r into r square is r cube right now this okay. so you can see that the integration is so easy to perform okay uh, what will be the result result is r square into r square by 2 and here r to the power 4 by 4 and limits are 0 to r. So what will be the result? This will be r to the power 4 by 2, r to the power 4 by 4, that is r to the power 4 by 4. Okay. 
I put by 4 by 4, and that 4 multiplied by this 8, so minus 5 r to the power 4 by 8 del p del x. Okay. So this is what? This is the discharge. This, uh, discharge is not negative at all. You can see this negative sign. Actually, del p del x is negative. So that negative and this negative makes positive. Q is always positive. Q is equal to this much. Therefore, what is the average velocity? Average velocity Q, this u bar is equal to Q divided by the area, uh, sorry, area means H, right? Then Q is this much, uh, what is the value? Minus pi r to the power 4 by 8 del P del X. And area was how much? It is pi r square. Okay. Is everything visible clear or not? Okay, so this is the expression for what average velocity. Now, uh, what will be the result? This pi and this pi will be cancelled. So, you will get what? Uh, I need to write somewhere here. Okay. So, u bar is equal to, u bar is equal to pi pi are cancelled, minus sign will be there. And uh, minus r square by 8 will be there. And we have del p del x. Right. This is the average velocity. Minus r to the power. Minus r square by 8. Into del p del x. What was the maximum velocity? Ah, yes. It is visible. What was the maximum velocity? Maximum velocity was. U max was equal to what? Minus 1 by 4 mu. Minus 1 by 4 mu. Del p del x into r square that that was the maximum velocity therefore what is the ratio of the maximum velocity and the average velocity therefore ratio of the maximum velocity divided by average velocity is what this divided by this what well, one mu mu sign will be there no? yes here mu was there mu was there this mu was, is missing here okay minus eight mu now, right. So, this divided by this is what? This is nothing but 2. 2.0 I am writing. Okay. So, this is 2. So, this is for which case? This is for flow of fluid, uh, flow of viscous fluid through a circular pipe. And of course, here the flow is laminar. That means, Reynolds number is limited. The maximum allowable value of Reynolds number is 2000 for the flow to remain laminar and only in that case you will get ratio of maximum velocity and average velocity as 2. But if the flow becomes turbulent that means if the Reynolds number crosses the value 2000 in that case expression will be different. Actually calculation procedure will be different. You have to use different approach to get the same result, uh, to get the same result means I am talking about U max, uh, the ratio of U max and U average. Okay, in that case you will not get two. Okay, only in case of laminar flows, you will get this result. Okay, uh, next uh, in the next video we will, uh, I'll discuss about pressure loss when fluid is flowing from one cross section to another cross section there will be some pressure loss why due to the effect of viscosity viscosity is nothing but frictional force okay effect of viscosity is what means frictional losses will be there due to frictional losses there will be some pressure drop pressure drop means in the direction of the flow pressure will decrease okay in the direction of the pressure will uh, decrease due to the effect of viscosity or due to the effect of frictional losses. So, and uh, that way you always get that in the direction of the flow, uh, the pressure gradient is always a negative quantity. Okay. Okay. This is the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.